nearby mine, and Tina would stay with the grandparents, and I would drive on the weekends about two or three <coughs> weekends. We got to see one another. Then I went back east, and so we were separated for quite a while. But by the time of fall, I was able uh, to have Tina come to where I was. So on our first anniversary, we hadn't been together a whole lot. As married people, we had courted for six years. So I wanted to make it special. They have a commissary, they call, on the Army base where we could go in and buy a discount. And so all of the uh, cards, birthday, anniversary, and they were under glass. You didn't, uh, uh, they weren't on a shelf, but they were under a glass. Yes. And I can remember reading each one as I was trying to find that perfect one. And finally, I thought this was it. And I pointed there, and the lady behind the counter picked up the card, put it in the envelope, and handed it to me. So I took it home, where we were staying, and I, uh, of course, I was, uh, I thought, uh, this was the way a husband ought to do. And I gave her the card, and she uh, opened it up, and it said, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Tina burst in tears. <laughs> the night was ruined. <laughs> Not my birthday. Not my birthday. <laughs> she was lonely for parents and for friends, and then for me to do something like that. Ah, unbelievable, unbelievable. <laughs> uh, I was, um, I had a thought there I, I was going to bring, then, I don't know, I lost that thought. <laughs> I've lost a few along the way. But Tina, on our 35th anniversary, she said, let's, let's just do something for ourselves. We had not taken any uh, time off, pastoring, working, sea working, you know, busy family. And uh, it's winter time in January at home. And so it's always a pleasure to go south, to Arizona, to Mexico, and it's warm weather. She's, and I said, well, Tina said, I just want to, I don't want to pack any church clothes. I just want to take my swimsuit, casual clothes, and, 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 and get in the sun. And I said, okay, let's begin to plan. This was uh, in early fall. And uh, this is honest God. It wasn't about two weeks after that. I get an invitation for a missionary call. In Mexico. Oh, wow. In Mexico. And I looked at the date. January the 10th. Oh. <laughs> and Tina said, uh, uh, what, what, uh, life is not, <laughs> what, not a, a rose garden. God constantly reminds me that it's not a playground. Yeah. It's a, it's a battlefield. battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> this world is not a playground. It's and a uh, the missionary people were named Barons, and I had met them at some conference somewhere. They were in southern, southeastern part of Mexico, on the Gulf side. Not even near. Hundred them. miles inland from the ocean, high up in the mountains. And our 35th anniversary was spent in a Mexican town called Thomas and Charlie. That's how we said, Thomas and Charlie. And our bed was made out of cement. 
with a foam on it about like that. Racks running all around. We had one plug-in, and that was in the bathroom. And this is how we celebrated our 35th anniversary. And the town people didn't want us there because they would go out and let the air out of our tires just to get back where we were in a very remote place. And uh, so uh, we, when we, uh, there was, uh, the people treated us so nice. The church people. The, the church people. It was a great time together. And I remember they did an anniversary cake for us. Oh. With the candles and, you know, just really nice. Yeah. And they, they, they were cooking tortillas on hot rocks <laughs> back there. It, but they uh, just decorated up, and it was so nice. And we have a picture of that. Mm -hmm. And Tina has it somewhere. And I don't know how it happened, but it was a double exposure. Remember that? Our camera doesn't do that. And then they don't do it. It's a double exposure, oh. us with the people, and then this cake, mm -hmm. anniversary cake. And so... The people in the background. Yeah, with hands the, their hands uh, stretched out like that. Yeah. Happy so, anniversary. Even in this, our life has been really interesting <laughs> and an adventure. But it's uh, the, the thing that gets you through is that, not, that you are aware and in confidence that God has put you together. Yes. Amen. Amen. And uh, I have been required uh, to travel quite a lot with, without Tina, not by choice, just because of circumstance and finance and things. And uh, usually, when I'm away two weeks, uh, my, it's very difficult for my mind to focus on ministry. I get thinking about Tina, home, the, uh, where you're comfortable, where, uh, anyway. And I told Tina, I said, it becomes uh, almost torture to me to be away. Uh, longer than two weeks and I said but when you're with me that's home yeah. that's home Amen. we're at home together we have been away almost three weeks now from from home but I don't have that anxious spirit if I was here alone it would be real anxious like last year yes. maybe you don't know but I'm real anxious on the inside and uh, I really have to struggle with focus. So your wife is your home. Yes. You're wherever they are, it's home. Right. That's where you're at peace. And so God <coughs> just simply made it that way. So I'm thankful that God has preserved us and helped us through the years. Yes. We don't know how many more we have to go, how many anniversaries. Amen. Who's counting anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Uh, I know. Uh, how, how's the time? How do you want? It's okay. How much time? Uh, Donna, maybe, uh, give me give me some guide, guideline. Uh, maybe uh, fifteen, ten, ten minutes. About how much? Okay. All right. I believe every one of us wants to build a, a solid marriage. I have it uh, written down an affair proof marriage where each partner, each spouse will never entertain an idea of going outside the home to fulfill their needs. And uh, marital conflict is created one of two ways. Couples fail to make each other happy. That's one of them. And then secondly,